does the same thing. And Festa too strong, Neutral too strong. But let's get in the game and see how good the strategies of special are going to be here against this Italian heavyweight. Let's go. Five, four, three, two, one. Round of 16, match seven. In the bottom right here in the blue, the Mexican Terran, he is. Ocean Gaming, special. Basically a Korean Terran at this point. The amount of years he spent here. The Beast Terran. The Beast Terran. I haven't heard it that much, actually. <laughs> it's been a while. And the top left here, multiple time WCS circuit winner. This is. Gamer's Origin, Rainer. One of the one of the people on the very very small list that can actually defeat Cyril in a series. Yep, he's done it more than once by now. Also on the moments where it truly matters, we'll see how this goes. I mean, like obviously Rainer defeated Special a couple of times recently, especially in the WCS events. Those were big encounters. But it's kind of funny for me because the very first time, like obviously Rainer had an appearance a long long time ago at a WCS stop back then in Valencia when he was still allowed to play. Then he had to wait. He was kind of pushed to the sidelines. He's like, yeah, you have to wait until you're 16. But then there was this one event called WSG where he was allowed to participate when he was 15. He went to China. He made it through the groups, and it all looked good. And then he played special in the quarterfinals. And it's like, well, you know, Rainer is really good, but this is going to be tough, right? Especially because special was kind of on fire back then. And there's out of nowhere, 15-year-old Rainer, 3-0 special <laughs> on the big stage, a $10,000 match, I believe it was back then. And it's like, all right, to me, that was kind of truly like his comment out bodies like all right i mean we knew that this kid was going to be good because he showed it when he was like 12 or 13 but like when you're 15 you can travel to china one of the very few events he was actually eligible to play in and then you can 3-0 arguably the best terran player outside of korea it's like all right this kid is for real he is for real he's a champion for a reason and he is also the biggest threat to a terran that will ever ever leave a lower depot i've never seen a run by a brainer go badly actually they just always seems to find damage he always seems to be in the face of the terran always gut checks that defensive capability of the terran making sure that they're you know if they're not tightened up tighter than a snare drum he will find an opening he will find damage he will kill SEVs and defend at the same time not unlike Cyril. now there's still one thing that will still stand out for me and i still stand by that i am a massive rainer fanboy but i don't think he's the best zerg out there against mech Gumio showed that more than once. He showed it at Intel Extreme Masters Katowice earlier this year, but he also showed it to us at Aces ROG. Uh, Rainer attended that tournament, I mean, it was one or two weeks ago, I believe, two weeks ago, I guess. Uh, and it didn't go well for him. We all looked at Rainer as like, all right, how far can he go? Can he stop Saro one more time? Can he defeat Saro in Finland? And it looked good. He was on track. He even took a 1-0 lead. I think it was against Stats or one of the other top protosses. In the end, he ended up losing the series. He's like, well, that could happen. But then he ended up losing against Gumio as well. Gumio obviously playing Mac. Reyna was pretty frustrated with that series. He's like, it's just nobody plays like him. And he's like, I don't even know what kind of a Mac this is. You know, like we often talk about battle Mac or slow Mac. And it's like, when you go up against someone like Gumio, it's just like a little bit of everything Mac. You just don't really know what's going to hit you. But you also know that Special has been watching these games and can obviously learn a lot from it. Well, we do actually see a third gas going down the Special. And with this speed overlord of Reyna, this actually does look like a BC opening, even though he's told you that they were bad. You know, it's looking very much like that at the moment. Um, obviously, the fusion core hasn't been dropped just yet, but he does have those Marines out early to shoot back the Overlord. He's trying to get a tech lab for that uh, starboard. He's got a third gas on the way. I mean, if it isn't going to be Mac, I don't know what it is here, Rotterdam. Yeah, and it, it would make sense to me. Like, I'm, I'm not special. Is obviously good enough to win a game with Bio against Rainer. But I think Rainer is an absolute, absolute monster against Bio in general. And you also know that he prefers it. So why would you give your opponent, you know, the playstyle that he prefers going up against? Even if you may think like, ah, oh, maybe Bio, maybe Mac. You always want to go Mac just because Rainer doesn't like it that much. He's been vocal about it in the past, and the results don't lie. I can't even remember the last time I saw Rainer lose against the Bio Terran, but mm. against Mac, he drops maps. Uh, pretty frequently actually yeah very true i mean maru did it to him wcg as well like it's just uh yep it's been a bit of rust style of course maru is uh one of those guys i don't remember the last zerg he lost to honestly like, <laughs> maru is quite good in this matchup yeah, it just seems like happy uh, like uh, the, you know acropolis is the map where terrans just do this it's almost predictable at this point you can almost blind counter it but of course you know you don't want to you don't want to make too many assumptions tournament this high level a four minute 40 second lair I find that relatively quick, especially because we know that Rainer in general likes to get Evos early on. But we'll keep a close eye on that. This may not necessarily mean anything. Maybe he's just like, all right, I know that I'm going to go up against Mac. I know I'm going to go up against PCs most likely. 
Let's just get queens and maybe try to get infests out as quickly as possible. I like how you brought up the series that Raynor had against Maru a couple of, uh, well, actually roughly a month ago exactly. They went to China for the World Cyber Games. They had a little four-man tournament. Not a lot of people watch those games, but basically what happened is that Maru made nothing but BCs and Liberators late game. Like early game, there was a little bit of battle mech, but it really was more to just buy time and be safe. And at one point, it was just nothing but BCs and Liberators. The army looked absolutely ridiculous, and Raynor just didn't know what to do against it. Even when he had two days to think about the next series, he still had no answer for that playstyle. Yeah, so I wonder if that special is going to do something among those lines as well. I mean, every Zerg, when they see that BC, they go for Neural, whoa, whoa, whoa. they go for Infestors. Hey, there is no oh, uh, there's no, no bailing there Nesme, no. there's no Roach Ward either. This seems unexpected. I mean, Reyna definitely unexpected here. Is not expecting as many Hellbats. Brings up a lot of Queens from the natural. That's still so many Hellbats. Oh, the drones go back there. They're not ready to come in and join this fight. Oh, yet. my goodness. And oh, now the PC wow. jumps in as well. Two Queens go down on the left side. All of the links have gone down already. And this is a fantastic start for Special. This might actually be it if he gets any further than this. Those Hellions are getting closer and closer to that natural. The Queen count starting to thin out here. His transfusion energy also starting to thin out. And the BC does have a little bit low on those hit points, but it can still tussle, especially with the Hell that support. Another queen goes down. Four of them in tandem. It looks like another transfusion available as well. Seven drones go down. Special does get cleaned up, but the BC lives. Yeah, special. And the trade looked really good there for special. Yep, he's got a worker advantage now as well, Maynard. He's up eight workers. Uh, to be honest, I'm still kind of impressed with the way that Raynor handled that in the end because he was not ready for that at all. And two queens were zoned out on the left side, so he just wasn't able to save those anymore. I could have seen a lot of Zergs lose even more there, given the circumstances, but. Yeah, I think Special is pretty damn pleased with it. He does hit a gnarly supply block, though, but a couple of depots are about to finish up. Yeah, that 101 supply block has the best of us. Another BC coming on in. There, here. <laughs> Another BC coming on in, and that thing is, uh, you know, it's out of tactical jump, but it has a lot of hit points. The other one can also rotate out, of course. All Special, be careful with this BC. Don't lose that to a couple of queens. Well, might have been on the move from in there as well, because yeah. it wasn't even firing in the first place. This one takes quite a bit of damage as well against the Spore. The other one is still alive. Took some damage. Spire is already uh, more than halfway down, so eventually Reyna is going to be able to get a couple of Corruptors out. And even though Special did quite some economic damage, it does feel like Special is going for a very slow and a longer style of, of game here. And it's yeah. like, yeah, okay, you can be economically ahead early on, and that's nice and all, but it's not that you can really capitalize on it like a minute down the line. Apart from the Hellbat attack, this is almost exactly how TY played his TDC on this map against Serral. Starting with the BCs, going straight into plus one attack on the armory rather than plus one uh, armor into tanks. Now, he, it looks like he's going to throw in some Cyclones as well, but certainly is prioritizing tank production over Cyclone production just to have a bit more of a backbone against Roaches. Because if Reyna does, you know, flood Roaches, Cyclones and Hellions just aren't that great. Yeah, that fifth command center is already going up. And if I think back of those games that Maru had on uh, Rainer, against Reyna in WCG, even on this map as well, without exaggeration, at one point you're looking at close to 30 command centers. Like, I'm, yep. I'm not even kidding. Like, he had way above 20, uh, above 25 at one point, and I think he peaked at like 32 or 33 command centers. At one point, he barely had any SCVs anymore. He had like 12 to 18 SCVs to mine gas. Everything else was mules. And obviously, at that point, the Terran army becomes ridiculously big. I mean, 180 army supply of battle cruiser liberator oh, yeah yeah i mean uh, yeah it's a it's a nightmare for most zergs out there hmm, the liberators really do help you out as well uh yeah, the niners coming down here no swarm hosts so just gonna be a roach niners i guess maybe some queen support yeah i mean obviously we do have a couple of corruptors right so he can obviously fight the uh, bcs in that way sure but that's actually quite interesting because he's also getting a baneling mess i mean so by no means is this night is like supposed to end the game immediately but I do really wonder how much Raynor is going to invest in some of these Nidus attacks. And also, where does the Nidus go? He does have a little bit of vision to the north. The Overlords have been sort of bullied back by those Overlords, and, or rather by the BCs, and of course the Cyclones can do that as well. Now we do actually see five, six Swarmos being added, so in okay. the end it is going to be a little bit of Swarmos Nidus, but obviously don't forget that you can always put some Roaches into these Nidus networks as well, and they can show up in the main base. Now where are these Corruptors? Because these Queens are not going to survive forever, so Yamato being used on a couple of them, and the Corruptors show up, and the BCs will get the hell out of there. So that's a nice little free trade there for Special. Yeah, it takes a little bit of damage on those BCs, so he doesn't have to repair them up, but definitely got the better end of that one. Roach is pushing back this battle mech army of Special. The creep spread on the high ground here, very important for Reyna, and he's definitely done a great job covering it. That's where Terran likes to push. Ooh, getting a little bit too close to those tanks, losing a few of that Roach supply. 
I mean, economically, especially, has been completely uncontested this game, right? Yep. I mean, 88 SCVs at this point, and I don't think he has lost a single SCV, and that's why I think it's always nice in general to play mech against Raynor, because Raynor is an absolute king in doing economic damage with Ling runbys, with Bailing runbys, and all that stuff. That's how he loves to play StarCraft. Raynor doesn't like playing games against Terran players that could click close to like 90 SCVs without being able to pick off a single SCV up to this point. Yeah, he normally gets a lot of harassment done by run and such, but not finding any love in this game. He's barely been on the other side of the map. In comes some locusts here from Raynor, not going to use them for harassment. He's going to use them to try and get on top of those tanks. And the Roaches and the Corruptors trying to help out for the low ground as well. Anybody the Corruptors trying to pick off a battle cruiser. It gets really low and he does pick one off. Yamato does connect here. Raynor has a good amount of Roaches to fight back against the Hellbats. The tank counter special not really convincing anymore. Raynor gets on top of them and the Corruptors are ruling the skies. Yeah, that's a really good fight for Raynor. I think he was very smart not to use those Swarmos on the other side of the map because he really needed those locusts to fight that army in the first place and because special has that many workers obviously the army is often not that big especially not if you leave a couple of tanks behind for safety and Raynor gets a pretty damn good fight oh. in the middle of the map but he's got to be careful because you can't really fight near planetary fortresses and those missile turrets does pick off uh, another battle cruiser for his troubles at least which is a pretty nice snipe any day of the week we've got to switch it to infestors here for Raynor now if Special's done his homework, there is a way to deal with that with the Mass Liberator, like you mentioned. Mara really likes that. This is a nice Locust wave, by the way. A lot yeah. of those factors are in the middle of producing. They need a lift. One gets taken down, so that's a nice pick off there with those Locusts. Yeah, but he's going to get a couple of add-ons as yeah. well. Does he get all four of them? Wow. Yes, he does. I mean, and this is all three damage, of course, in the end. A couple of Corruptors will find his Command Center on the right top side. Now, this command said they can obviously land, but then Caustic Spray could be used, and there is a Nidus network going up right beside us as well. So more BCs on the way, but Special needs extra bases. You look at that gas bank, Maynard, and it's not really there anymore. No, not really, and everything that's useful for Special does cost a lot of gas. He's making three BCs at once, so I think we sold that wow. gas crisis. He's got 900 gas on for in production right now. Uh, and there goes those Locusts of Raynor going for the main base again, as those tech labs just finish up. BCs, they're pretty good, but they have a little bit slow single target damage on this auto attack. Yep. Say goodbye to your add-ons once again. Is he even going to get the one on the top side? Yes, he does. Even the starport takes a lot of damage. Ah, I think the starport will live, but a few SCVs go down as well. I mean, Reyno is actually getting some really good value out of his Locust. Absolutely. These Locusts are doing a lot more than I would have expected. Uh, considering Special knows that this is happening, you know, he sent some Hellbats down there to deal with the Nidus Worm. Reyno reinforces the Nidus Worm, keeps it alive, and then sends in another juicy wave. Neural is on the way here to help out with those BCs, and this is where things get a little frightening for the Terran. As the BCs can become the Zergs, and then Yamato each other, a tactical jump into the Zergs anti-air. Banelink's looking to connect here with the Battle Mech Army, special on top of it though, microing everything back. Not that many Cyclones though, right? So it's actually no. really hard to uh, make your way through those Roaches. In the end, there is one tank. That's going to be the backup for safety as well. He's rebuilding his barracks. I guess one of the barracks just did get sniped by the Corruptors or something, and now he's forced to... Uh, to remake that. Well, uh, yeah, oh the, my goodness. No. The only barracks that was out in the map actually did get killed by the Corruptors before. Caustic spray damage is insane when it ramps up. That base just evaporates. Special gets rid of this Nidus Worm. Wow. But Reyna is still really dominating this side of the map. He's yep. just not giving Special any breathing room. Yeah, I gotta be pretty damn impressed with the way Reyna is doing this. I didn't like his star that much, but he's handling all of this so well. Snipe the Orb, the command gets a kill on that command center as well. Gets 12 or 13 even SCVs for his efforts on top of this, all of this. And Special really needs to get extra bases, because Special wants to build very expensive units. Well, you, uh -huh. need, you need extra refineries for that. It does get a hatchery, so that's nice, but I'm starting to get a little bit worried here for our Terran player. Yeah, it's a nice pickoff, but it might be a little bit inconsequential here, because this army of Reyna looks very, very tactical and very, very hard to stop. Lots of Corruptors still alive, lots of energy on the Infestors as well, and a Special Tactical jumps on top of this Corruptors or overextends with the BCs, and he will very likely lose them doesn't really have any Liberators. He's replenishing the tank count and the Hellion count. The Tellians and the tank's going to be very, very handy against this army, but how does he actually stop stop Raynor from doing more damage with these runbys and with this harassment with the swarm hosts? Yeah. The Infestor count is not that high, though, yet, right? Not so yet. That's, like, the only thing that Special kind of still has. And obviously, he's maxed out, and he's starting to build a little bit of a bank once again. Let's see if these battle crews can get some good damage done. I'm kind of surprised that Raynor just made a whole bunch of links. I guess he just wants to get a couple bay links out there. But his hatchery is actually in a lot of trouble, and it's going to go down. Yeah. And I don't even know if that's enough Corruptors. I, I don't think you can fight that. No, no and Rainer, Rainer agrees with you, man. He pulls back with all of his units there. The Corruptors are going to come forward the with the Infestors. Then it's different. And Neural can be cast from underground, but they tactical wow. jump before the Neural connects. That's so cool. Whoa. I mean, okay. it's a game of seconds, Maynard. It Sometimes is. half a second or yeah, even less. Oh, man. 
Double Spire here from Rainer. So a switch, or rather Greater Spire with his first Spire, and then a second one on the way here for those air upgrades. So he really wants to get, you know, some heavily upgraded Corruptors and potentially Broodlords going forward as well, so he can crack that the Terran's defensive line. Hellion's running in for some drone damage. They find half a dozen right there. It's like uh, both players on the other side of the map. Oh, Infestor's locking down those Hellions, but it looks like a wave of Locusts about to fire out here on that side of the map as well. Special in the main base with the Hellbats here, looking for some serious damage. Yep, should absolutely be able to get a few more drones here, and Infestor even pops. A couple of links do go down, and I guess that's about it for now. I don't think the Locusts this time were able to get that much done, because there's a lot of BCs here. They are able to reveal these uh, Swarm Moses as well. A couple of Mysteries, sure, they go down, but this Planetary Fortress should always live. As long as you repair it for a little bit, yeah, that's going to be fine. I, I mean, obviously, Rainer did a lot of things very right. But I look at his army right now, and I don't think he's building like an invincible army, right? The Infest account actually feels kind of underwhelming to me. I think it's yeah. at 8 at this point or something, 8 to 9. Mm -hmm. And there's definitely like, you know, when you start to see 20 plus Infestors in these games yeah. sometimes, it, it makes you wonder if he needs more here. I think he, he does. He's still prioritizing more like air units. He's actually making more Corruptors here, so... Instead of making the spell casters, he wants actual fighting units. Yeah, I mean, the BC count is getting high, so obviously I do get it. And Reynus is kind of looking for maybe a couple of those new rolls and then win a fight very, very convincingly. Special's getting a little fancy. A lot of battle cruises on the top side of the map. Snipes and not a hatchery. And he's also sending two battle cruises to the left bottom side of the map. I mean, these are moves you don't see super often with these very expensive units. Look at those two oh, spires. Spire. Look at those two spires right next to each other. There's a couple yeah. of Yamatos. Oh, does he even need the Yamatos? Uh -huh. The DPS here is pretty insane. Those BCs about to even have plus to attack. Great Aspire is about to go down here. Oh, he's going for the Corruptors. Okay, Great Aspire does go down. He loses the Carapace upgrade. And then it just pieces on out of there. So he, the Great Aspire going down does kind of suck. A lot of bases going hatchery. down. Oh, that's even worse here for uh, for Reyna. Reyna is a four base zerg uh -oh. right now, Maynard. Yeah, this is really bad for Reyna here. These these multiple attacks with these BCs for special have really found the damage. Yep, this is actually really cool. It's not something you see super often. In general, players kind of hesitant to split up these super expensive units, but special has done a very good job in avoiding these infestors. And you can see that it's kind of idling in the middle of the map. They have not been able to land these neuros that you look for. And Reyna now making a couple of links once again, just wants to get a couple of banes somewhere to do the economic damage that he's looking for. I mean, he might be able to uh, prevent this. Where are the Corruptors? Are they close? Uh, I think the Corruptors are actually in the middle of the map here, just uh, over the creep spread. I do like that they burrow the Zergling. That makes it at least a little bit harder for that command center to just land again. Mm. I mean, the fight is still going to be the most important thing, but you got to be impressed with the way that Special handled the last few minutes in this game. Uh, Rain is about to have triple Spire here. He remade a couple after uh, thinking the other two would go down. Nice liberator harassment here from Special. No advanced ballistics yet, right? No, he does have it, yep. Yeah? Yep. Okay. Well, I it, has a, it has a different color pew Yeah, I know, it's a little bit thicker in general. It's a little bit more white. I noticed that, but this time it was hard to see. And it's obviously a very important upgrade, even though he doesn't have that many yet, but it's going to come in very handy. Ooh, oh. look at all those SCVs oh, on the top side. Yeah, that's a, that's, a tr that's a juicy SCV transfer right there. If Rainer can connect with that one. Oh, so many BCs in this army. Where are these locusts going? Looks like they want some tanks on the, bottom, on the bottom side. Well, the SCVs are going to go down the Bane Links. There yep. we go. Nice yeah, little, nice little bit of damage there, yeah. Yeah, and Special only having 50 SCVs at this point, not being maxed out. I mean, obviously, I don't mind having 50 SCVs if you have this many orbitals and you already have most of your uh, infrastructure in place. But, you know, there's no massive bank, right? There are often games where we think of a massive bank I mean, the BC count just feels so freaking high. Now five more Liberators being added, by the way. I really like it. Yeah, this is how he, this is how Terran's going this style actually managed to deal with the late game Infestors. They start to push back the Infestors with the Liberation Zones oh. and also kill the Infested Terrans. A couple of Neurals going down. He didn't get the Yamatos off the Infestors in time. And the Corrupt Account is really high, Roddy. Damn, they're actually doing all right against these BCs and Neurals all over the place. Uh, the tanks are just not doing anything on the left side. Finally, they're on Siege, but they're a little bit late to the party. A lot of BCs are ready to fight again, though. Raynor has been losing a lot of supply. The Roaches and Ravagers show up on the left side, but I don't think that's going to be enough. And I never really saw the Infested Terrans come into place because the Infested Account simply wasn't there. And this fight actually goes pretty bad for Raynor. Special keeping a lot of these BCs alive. I mean, it actually looked like a bit of a trade. Both players lost yeah. a lot of resources there. But the point is that Special's army still stands. He didn't have that mech army completely reset. Reyna lost a lot of Infestors, yep. lost a lot of Corruptors. 
tons of supply and resource going down for both players, and it's not like Reyna has a ton of bank to work with either. He actually lost all the Infestors, so now wow. he's remaking four of them, but I mean, when a Zerg player is hovering around 170 supply and is also starting to add more and more Roaches into the mix, well, the Terran player has a lot of VCs and Liberators. Yeah, it's not comfortable. Nope, that's often a bad sign. Specialist has done such a damn good job in sniping these bases with all the battle crews over and over again and dealing the economic damage that Reyna was desperately looking for. And meanwhile, especially Special very casually just got all the damage. He certainly did. He's run by us, been finding damage every now and then. This one, not so much. Awesome, the Swarm Host is going to get taken down. And I mean, Reyna really doesn't want to spend more resources on more Swarm Hosts. Losing four or five of them there as they retreat. He did manage to get some Broodlords, which is great. But considering the BC count is still pretty high and he does have Yamato, they do have to kind of wait their turn to be able to actually push back the Siege Tanks or rather the Cyclones and the Hellbats of Special. And keep in mind that these Liberators as well, so if the Infest account does get higher for Reyna, and it's still not that convincing, that's when these Liberators really shine. Yep, and obviously, like, we don't often talk about upgrades too much in this phase in the game because the spellcasters are so important, but... Yeah, 1-1 one, one on the air units for Reyna, it's just kind of underwhelming, right? And he doesn't have the money anymore after no. losing those Spires. He just simply doesn't have the money to refire or restart those upgrades. The battles have been very expensive. Mm -hmm. And at one boys, uh, or one phase in the game, we're suddenly like, he's a four base Zerg. Like, that's unbelievable. Normally, Zerg has like seven, eight, nine bases. You know, they're everywhere. Special just did a really good job in shutting down the additional bases. He certainly did. I mean, Reyna has three Spires, and he can't upgrade on any single one of them <laughs> because of his resource count. Quite right there. Ooh, there's quite a few tanks on the low ground. Roach Ravager Force. High enough, though, to push it back a little bit. Just trades for both players. Well, Rainer, I mean, these are fights that are just simply not that impactful. Special is close to maxing out once again. He's trying to secure an additional base. I had a little chat with Rainer. I was like, how are you feeling? He's like, confident. He's like, very, very confident. But so far, I feel like it's all been special. This was an, uh, yeah. just the kind of game where I really feel it's almost the blueprint on how to beat Rainer, right? Are you going to beat Rainer playing really cool, like, marine tank stuff? It's like, yeah, maybe, but it's really hard. But with this kind of stuff, you often do see Reyna make a lot of good moves, but then also one or two really bad oh moves that God. suddenly pushes the Terran player very far ahead. Look at this A unit count for special. That Sky Terran army is absolutely insane. You know what he can do right now that's really cool? It's just like teleport on top of the Zerg army and then all the Liberators show yeah. up as backed up. It's just so cool. Cover them with freedom. Yeah, <laughs> it's really, really fun to watch. I saw Maru did it a couple times looking at his screen. I'm like, yeah, that's, that's just, it looks ridiculous. I mean, this base is going to get shut down. So that's very nice for Reyna, but it really feels like the fight we're about to witness is not much of a fight, Maynard. Look yeah. at this army. Come on, there I are mean, lings and roaches against this army. <laughs> and these Liberty's got plus three attack, and he only has plus one carapace. So if Reyna actually doesn't have that many investors, he can actually just A move these uh, <laughs> these Liberators and do a, a pretty convincing amount of splash damage yeah. to the air army of, or of Reyna, rather, the Corrupt account. Yeah, if the Corrupt just clump up, it's yeah. going to be very, it's be very bad. Out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, look at this army and be like, yeah. I mean, we see now one Viper being added as well. These drones are going to be in for a tough time. A couple oh, of them man. are going to get picked off. That's a lot of Liberators being sieged up. I mean, Reyna's 155 army supply, or one supply total, rather, 102 army supply. It's simply not enough, especially because the units he has, then it's just not powerful enough. Special's looking so good here. His army is just better, straight up. Like, we're not yep. uh, not beating around the bush here. His army is better than Reyna's. Reyna's been trying to make a sort of a, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. He does have some spell casters in his army. He does have a good number of corruptors and also some brood lords as well. But he just doesn't have the supply. Special's maxed out. He's been maxed out forever. And he's also had three, three for what feels like forever as well. Yeah. And he's ground and air units. And when they fight, they are going to be hitting way harder. Yep, scan being used. A couple of cyclones being oh annoying on the left side as Freedom! well. You look at all these liberators, like, you want to spawn infested Terrans? Go ahead, yeah, sir. Yeah, go for it. Yep, let's see how long they It'll live. It'll be the best 50 energy you ever spent. Every single one of those infested <laughs> yeah, send them out. Let's go. And slowly but steady, we're just going to see some Yamatos probably. I mean, with a couple of Vipers, it obviously can be quite nice for Reyna to abduct units one by one. But, you know, I'm a massive fan of Reyna, but I do always feel if there is still one thing in which he lacks a little bit. I think it's the combination of Vipers and Infestors. Obviously, he knows how to use some of the most powerful late-game units of Zerg, but I think when it comes to using both those spellcasters combined, there is still some uh, work to do. Yeah, it does seem like he just feels a little bit uncomfortable against the style still. Special, though, very confident. Coming forward with that army. A yoink on that BC, but Tactical <laughs> jumps it back to safety. <laughs> They're all on cooldown here. They're ready to just jump out of harm's way. I think Special can actually just A-move, like, he can literally jump forward and go for all the Liberators, but also understand he's playing it safe, he's getting a couple of extra Ravens as well. 
and he's just trying to secure one more base. Obviously, we have information on all the numbers. Special does not. He also uh, has probably lost games where he felt like, I cannot lose this game anymore. And then suddenly the investors show up, the entire army gets neuroed. It's like, all right, is this it? And then sometimes that can actually be it. So it makes perfect sense on such a big stage to play it safe. But Special is in a phenomenal position. He's just trying to get further ahead. He knows that he is definitely already ahead. Another base in the bottom left. This base has already gone down once or twice. Look at these BCs, they're doing some yeah. good damage. Are they actually losing hit points? I'm actually watching the health bars right now. It's like, okay, yeah, that one on the left a little bit. <laughs> Is it going to jump out? No, no. it doesn't have to do a jump in time. Let's see, nice. This one can, though. Yep. This one can. We'll see if Special decides to... Uh, maybe the fact that Rain has to send so many units here, you can maybe use some of that freedom on the other side of the map. Move around a little bit, but Rain is still just running around with lings and roaches. But it really feels that, you know, this is like when uh, time travel clashes and there is a war going on in the 18th century and in the 21st century. <laughs> it's like, whoa, you guys got some great uh, technology over there. Yeah, the like knights, knights show up on horses and then some guys yeah. with automatic machine guns just <laughs> yeah. mow them all down. That is kind of the situation here, with special, but definitely being the guy with the machine gun. He <laughs> comes and up forward. I mean, Rainer does have this army, it's just to the north side of specials. This is a nice, nice little run by, yeah, that's yeah. very, very good. But uh, does he actually get rid of this army, though, is the big question in my mind. Yep. I mean, the Liberate Count is high. It's not super high. The Broodlord's actually doing some good economic damage as well on the other side of the map. But it seems like Special finally had a little bit enough of it. He's going to find one more Spire. So that's going to be a very easy pick up as well. Gets a lot of these Overlords. Now Raynor is supply blocked, and Raynor doesn't really oh. have the money to rebuild all of this stuff, losing now another hatchery as well. Broodlords is bringing up the tail end here, but what are they helping against everything's bomb? in the sky? Yeah, everything. Yeah, nice parasitic bomb. That's actually connecting with so many units here. Is there one in the Liberators as well? Yes, yes there yes. is. Oh my goodness, there is one parasitic bomb in the middle of the, all these Liberators that did a lot of damage. Yeah, it certainly did. I don't care about the armor upgrades. It is a spell. A few more of those, may not. And maybe the dream is alive. Yeah, maybe, maybe. He's clumping all of them up once again. You can just land another parasitic bomb on top of those liberators, and I think all of them will go down. Mules oh. being dropped to repair the army. I actually think that's very smart. Reyna does have energy for these parasitic bombs that you want. I would uh, love to see one more. Imagine one more on top yeah, of all right, this. That, that cluster right there. You get all of them. Yeah. I mean, Special does still have a bank. He can rebuild a couple of these units, but I mean, that Mac army definitely took a little bit of a beating. <laughs> I love this fire. Like, oh, can I get a fire up? Like, nope. <laughs> nope. And it gets cancelled. So Reyna desperately trying to get this base up and get it secured. Special making sure that it doesn't get up without a fight. Reyna going for a counterattack here against the planetary. It doesn't actually have SCVs on the repair here. Just starts to turn around, but Reyna's denied all the surface area. So this planetary is going to go down by the looks of things. Yeah, that's nice pick up there. Yeah, with roaches and links, you don't really expect to get that much done there. Fungal whiffs. I mean, Special has to be careful, right? Because this army is actually super scary, uh, super expensive, rather. I love how Rain is like getting a lair right now. It's like feels so awkward, right? 28 minutes into the game, he's like, I've lost everything I used to have, so I'm gonna try to rebuild a little bit. Rain still has a big army. Can he land another big parasitic bomb? He lands two of them, but these units were not actually siege. So it's a little bit easier this time for Special to avoid some of the damage, even though that Viking is just like casually chilling on top of the other seven Liberators. <laughs> Trader Viking. Uh -oh, a scan, a scan would be massive. Here. Mm, oh, even just the splash damage is actually getting a few <laughs> of these drones here. They're, they're actually inside the, the splash damage of those Hellbats there. Oh, looking like he wants to catch a couple Vipers. of these Vipers. Yeah, yeah, they get targeted down. And you can rebuild those. I mean, there's no hype. That's, that's true, actually that's really wow. well done by Special. Yeah, that's a big moment here. I mean, Rain is just trying to get his lair up in the bottom left, and that's a very hurt lair as well. It's already very low on hit points. Special very oversaturated up here to the north, but of course he still has that bank. Anti-Army Missile on these units, but doesn't look like a Special can capitalize just yet. Uh, still has to be a bit careful against these Infestors, and it does make sense. Obviously, all of these Infestors are pretty much maxed out on energy. So a lot of Fungals are available. The count is not super high, but I mean, there's still plenty of Infested Terrans. Potentially, Fungal does land on a couple of these units. Mm. The Corrupt is coming in as well. This is it, Maynard. That's going to be the last fight in the game. Infested Terrans getting pushed out here for Reyna. anti armor Missile and absolutely everything Reyna has here on the low ground. Infested Terrans also being shot out here, but the Liberation Zones are cutting through them slowly but surely. The Corrupt account high enough to still cut through those Battlecruiser numbers, but reinforcements from Special taking up that flank on the right-hand side. And the Terror just has too much. GG.
Excellent, excellent game by Special, I'd say. Rainer felt very confident before this best of five, and he has won the last five official encounters against Special. But in this first game, that's the blueprint to beat Rainer in this matchup. I really think it is. Special is obviously a real student of the game. He's somebody who always watches a lot of other Terran players, talks to a lot of the other Korean Terran players as well. And this is like the one thing that I really feel that Rainer does not love about StarCraft 2. He loves everything, but he doesn't like playing these kind of games. He does seem to struggle against Mech. We've seen it time and time again in just even that one game a minute ago. Just the, just, it just seems to not have a convincing response to it. I, I don't know how else to say it. It's funny because I feel like he did a lot of things right until at one point he suddenly just lost three bases in the blink of an eye and it's like Maynard, he's a four base Zerg that doesn't really have a crazy bank and the Infestor count just never felt it, right? It's like, yeah, six, seven Infestor, it was cool. He was looking for a fungal here and there or maybe a Neuroparasite on one of those expensive units but we have seen so many other Zergs. They have 20 plus Infestors and that's where I think like a lot of those armies from Terran really struggle with but yeah, the six, seven, it was never enough. Certainly. Well, let's get into map number two here and see if Reyna can tie it up. Let's get in there. Five, four, three, two, one. And the bottom left here in the blue, currently up in the series. He is... Ocean Gaming Special. Plenty of fans here in the studio. Well, like uh, Nick and Dan said, basically a resident of South Korea at this point. Basically. And in the top right here, the visitor looking to try and do some damage up on the stage. He is... Gamer's Origin, Rainer. And of course, Rainer is no stranger to the stage here in Africa TV. Actually managed to uh, knock out Classic from the GSL on his 16th birthday. That was an amazing game. The game I lost and found. Yeah, that was one the best CVP I've seen in like yeah. forever at that point. Honestly, one of my all time favorite experiences, like just sitting at home. You know how sometimes like you have a lot of different experiences, right? As a StarCraft fan, mm. like sometimes you're really into it. Sometimes you're just kind of zoning out. Sometimes you have done your second monitor. And I still remember so vividly me sitting in my little chair, you know, feet on the desk, be like, all right, Raynor, like give us a good show. And like, it was just a roller coaster with emotions. Like he's got it. No, he doesn't. Oh my God, he's so dead. No, maybe there's hope. I mean, Raynor against Classic on Lost and Found back then. If you guys have never seen that game, you have to check it out. Oh, Lost and Found had so many good games on it. This build from Special, by the way, the, the double Reaper opening with the Wall-Off. I mean, yes, he's in the bottom left, which means the add-ons are going to be on the outside, but it's not actually a Wall-Off that usually has add-ons because you bring everything back in the main before you switch over into the next phase of the, of the build. Mm -hmm. And this is exactly what TY did against Serral in this map. So it really just seems like Special and TY, once again, sharing builds. Yeah, it's not the first time, right? <laughs> no, might be the last either. Yeah, it's been like that for quite some time. It's a very funky Overlord, right? I feel like some games were getting like the Neil skins, and then some games were not. And yeah, it's often like no. back and forth, where it's only one race. They usually they usually give it to one race, yeah. 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 It's really kind of cool. These drones look pretty cool as well. Yeah. Cerebrus skin. I learned the skin names for Down Rotterdam, so. You're so good, man. I'm, I'm all set for the lore questions. Trying hey. to become a WCS cast and then someone on Twitter <laughs> is like, Maynard, what is Cerebrus? I'm like, uh, anyway, this TVZ. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny, right? There's a lot of official names. This is like, yeah, things have been like in a certain way for such a long time. It's like Zergling Speed, Observer Speed. It's like, what's the official name? It's like, uh, uh. Uh, <laughs> anyway, this Reaper. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Reaper trying to pay the uh, Reaper tax here against some of those link kills. Nice control from Reyna, keeping those hurt links to the backside, except for that one time. Yeah. Queen actually gets bounced back. One drone is a little bit exposed, but Reyna does do a good job in saving it. A lot of additional links on the way for Reyna. Reyna's taking this very seriously. Look at how many links he's getting, Reyna. Yeah, a lot of links. Not going to go down the roach path. And you get enough links out, and you certainly can be fine. Yep. So Reapers are going to be annoying. Oh. Good job there. Well, well done saving that one. Zergling speed more than halfway down. Oh, First oh. drone does finally go down. Special's pulling back with these Reapers here. One of the most powerful things about New Repugnancy is you have so many cliffs in the main, the natural as well for these Reapers to really dart around and be annoying for the Zerg. They just slip through their wow. fingers every time. Another drone kill, forcing another spore here. He A third drone more. kill, yep. and then he can just leave to the south of this natural. Yep. Peace! Oh. See ya! Special obviously knows the timing of Zergling speed very, very well. Four drones have gone down, and Rainer they make a lot of Zerglings as well. Ooh. So it's not just the fact that you know, Special gets a couple of drone kills. It's also that he forced out that many units. 
Now Reyna is going to try to go up to three bases almost immediately here, knowing that these Reapers will most likely head home. And of course, Special's expenders a little bit later. This is just like a solid start for Special. Don't want to get too carried away. This game is not over or something. No. Wow, that's a very fast fusion core, by the way. Sally is. You know, this is a fair bit of BC action for a guy that told you, uh, you know, about half an hour ago <laughs> that he hates the BC. He's like, BC suck. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna make the carriers look. I'm gonna make the casters look dumb. Haha. <laughs> Whoa, oh, Roach this one as well. Yeah. Maybe Rain a little bit terrified after what happened in that previous game with all the Hellbats suddenly showing up. Let's not forget about the start, right? Like, I think Special technically had a pretty damn good start on Acropolis. Yeah, he got a lot of drone damage there yeah. and killed Queens as well as a lot of things. Yep. A lot of lost mining time, so. Reyna wants to make sure that that doesn't happen again. Certainly not. And obviously, I mean, whenever there's a Roach Warren, you know, and a player that hates going up against Mech, I'm always like, ah, are we going to see him do something feisty? Is he going to suddenly build a bunch of Roaches and Ravages? Because I think back of, like, Reyna against Hero Marine on King's Cove, the most recent WCS, and didn't he just run to the other side of the map? And I mean, yeah, I yep. keep saying it time and time again when I cast from home and when I cast here at this tournament, one of the strongest things you do against a BC build is actually just attack with a lot of roaches. Yeah, well. You can't really stop it. You have Hellions on the ground, and in this case, a handful of Reapers as well. Yeah, None but the timings are very different now, right? Because of this... Uh, it, it definitely is, yeah. ...of the Reaper opening. And I mean, obviously, we saw Serral try a similar thing as well on Acropolis, and that didn't really work out. I mean, the Reapers and Hellbats just bought so much time that by the time that those Roaches actually made it to the other side of the map, that BC was almost out. And I was like, well, <laughs> you know, I don't really believe in a Roach attack if the Battle Cruiser's out. I think once again, Special's actually playing a very clean and strong early game. And for Special, I think it's all about not falling too far behind, because I think he's very confident. He's like, all right, the longer these games go, if I can make it, you know, up to four bases, I'll often get my fifth. And from that point on, I would say it's like weapons ready, let's dance for special because he wants to play those super long and drawn out games. And I like that he's playing mech as well, you know, it's just like, oh, Bio's pretty good on this map. No, if you play against Raynor, honestly, the best thing you can do is play mech because Raynor against Bio, he's an absolute, absolute stud. And there's those extra couple factories, the armory, you get close, close to position. And Ling's looking for that opening, but the depots go up and that's a lot of Hellions. So Raynor losing quite a few Ling's for free there. And now Special ready to march across the map. He's about to be able to turn them into Hellbats as well. While Reyna has some links here waiting, Special's BC is going to be drawing his attention to the main base while Special looks to looks to target down a third with these Hellbats and Reapers. Yeah, there's a couple of roaches this time as well. Sport and a lot of Queens. This BC is going to take so much damage. Yeah, that actually I know it's tanky and all, but... <laughs> oh, the Queens are kind of stuck on each other, so maybe the BC will escape to the left. Yeah. yeah. Looks well like done. it will. Wow, look at these helmets actually getting quite close to these roaches. A couple of drones feel very exposed on the top side there. Battle Cruiser runs into that sport crawler, but I know it still has a oh! little bit of HP. Oh, oh my goodness. God. That queen, if that queen would have run towards the north side, 10 drones did go down though, and oh that Battle Cruiser survives. How did that go so well for Special? It felt like everything was about to turn on his head there, but he does get a dozen drones. And Reyna still, of course, has the work of lead, and Special's attack did need to do damage, which it certainly did, but. Uh, Reyna doesn't have to worry about BC for the minute. It's a while before the second one's done. The other one way too low in hit points to cut dart out it, dart back in anywhere near creep, as a queen could just sneeze on it and it will go down. What would you like to see from Reyna right now? I'm actually like kind of confused. He's building more queens and more roaches. He's just gonna attack. I mean, he's getting overlord speed as well. So he could maybe pick up yeah. a couple of these queens and fly to the other side of the map. Is Reyna just going for it? Did he have enough? Oh, he may be. You get enough Ravages up and enough yeah. Queens up, and all of a sudden you definitely can take the fight here against the Terran. I, I, mean, think, I think that's what he's going to do, Maynard. I really yeah. think Raynor had enough, and I think he just wants to punish uh, Special. Obviously, the army's quite big. The Reapers, how much do they see? Is this a tell? I mean, I love it, man. If he goes for it, I think it's very, very strong. I think it's going to work out pretty well. Well, this Queen's trying to in on that second more healthy battle cruiser. This one Reaper somehow finds its way into the main. He's going to get another drone kill. But Reyna... Do we have tanks? Like, how many tanks are out? I, uh, I see a tank is in production. I have the feeling we don't have that many tanks yet. And I feel like that's quite a big Zerg army. A couple of overlords hel helping with that creep highway as well. But those two tanks oh, on the high yeah. ground, though, it's going to get hard to get in range of those. That's why I'd love to see some drop overlord play. Like, imagine if you fly, like, four roaches into the main base and drop them on top of those tanks. Yeah, well, the Queens are getting closer and closer. They're kind of busy with this barracks at the moment. As Rainer reinforces yeah, this bush, you see he's not droning behind this. This is pretty all in from Rainer. Yep, he has a massive army, but can he get on top of these tanks? Imagine if he loses that Overseer, he loses high ground vision. I almost think it's worth Yamatoing the Overseer. I know it sounds crazy, but... <laughs> yeah, he's going to have it in a second. Getting rid of high ground, I agree with you, Roddy. That's yeah. a really, really big deal. I wouldn't mind it at all. Can he Yamato, the Overseer? It would be massive. Because then those two tanks are never going to go down. 
Oh, Hellion's even finding some drone damage here as Reyna's got all of his eggs in the basket over here at the third base. Nice. The Queen's on the front line, they get Yamato down. I don't like how this is going at no. all for Reyna. It really feels like it's all a bit too slow, too indecisive. Look at the tank count. We've got four tanks. These PCs are still oh, going strong as well. Yeah, the he's actually missing the Biles and the tanks as well. They are still alive and they're still killing roaches. Reyna's getting pushed gone. further and further back. Overseer is gone. And he can kill those tanks. Nope. Reynos is going to lose everything over here, Maynard. That's right. I mean, yes, he's doing damage, but it's, it needed to be a kill move, Roddy, and it's yeah. not a kill move. No, this is nowhere near enough. Doesn't even get that tank oh, that's wow. fully surrounded. All of these queens are going to go down as well, and Special is very close to taking a 2-0 lead over Reynos here. Reynos might stick in this game a little bit longer, but he's got almost nothing. He's barely got anti air, I think. Yeah, these two queens coming fresh from this hatchery. He's oh, a third no. one on the way, that's but these it. BCs can't be stopped, man. These drones got nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. The Greeks going in for that natural. The BCs, even though they're damaged from earlier, still have Yamato on cooldown. Spore Crawler definitely not going to be enough here. That Queen, not enough energy to be a part of the fight. These tanks are still here at the third base. These roaches still not finding critical damage. There's a sixth tank coming in to reinforce. Yeah. He is starting to get some tank kills, but again, he cannot crack the defensive special. And these BCs also, while one gets very, very low, will just seal the deal here. And special with a 2-0 lead already on match point against a guy that's been really beating him up for the past couple of years. Yep, Rainer has won the last five official encounters between these two, but today it's all been Juanito so far. He's just playing very well. I think his openings are good. The unit controls on point. He's scouting. He's identifying. I mean, look at that tank positioning there in the end. Just like it, it felt that he kind of knew that this was going to come. And I must say, like, I feel like Raina maybe could have done slightly better. Like, if you want to go for an attack like that, I had the feeling he wanted to create like a creep highway, right? Yeah. It's like, well, he had four overlords just kind of setting next yeah, to each other. Yeah, they were on top of each other yeah. and just get pushed back by the uh, by the, over by the uh, battle cruisers. Yeah. yeah, that wasn't even much of a highway to begin with. And I also feel it's like, you know, if there are going to be tanks on the high ground, you either need to get in there right on top of it, take them out with cross the balls, maybe bring multiple overseers or try to get like a drop of lord or something, you know, just like anything to really push the issue. Because obviously every second that goes by is a very good one for Terran there and a very bad one for Zerg. And it just felt everything was way too slow from Reyna's side. Well, he'll need to get faster and more furious here because he has got one life left in this tournament and it is going to be on Thunderbird. A reverse sweep, the only way he sticks in here. Let's get into it, guys. Five, four, three, two, one. And the bottom right here in the blue. He's been beaten up overseas, but Korea is his home. This is... Ocean Gaming. Special. It's going to be feeling so good right now. It's not there yet, but it's looking really, really good. Just one more map if he can just not make any more mistakes against this kid in the top left. The little warrior himself from Italy. He is Gamer's Origin, Rainer. It's been an uh, absolute fantastic 2019 so far for Rainer. Of course, it all started with him winning WCS Winter. He also won the big WCS Summer in Kiev. Just uh, two months ago, I believe it was. They won a couple of little tournaments here and there as well. Won a tournament in Italy last month, the second season of the Clash StarCraft II Invitational. So all around, it's all good. Took second place in WCG after Maru. I mean, that was a nice little $15,000 victory, I believe, for him Just in the end. casual 15 grand. Yeah, you know, like yeah. so the kid has absolutely been doing amazing, but I'm sure that he would love to do well here in Korea. It's obviously a prestigious event. You know, it's funny, right? Because a lot of it's like, oh, it's an all-star exhibition tournament. Like, all of these guys take it so serious. There's a lot of money on the line, of course. And it's just like, it's memorable. These kind of games are all very memorable. Like, you ask me anything about the games from last year, it's like, you know, that was cool, and that was cool, and well, that was a bit lackluster. But it's just a tournament that really stands out. And I also feel like last year, if you think of Serral, right? Like, a lot of people still had their doubts about Serral. It's like, yeah, he's winning those WCS events, and he did all right in Katowice, but, you know, how good is he really? Can he really bring it out against, like, the best Korean players? And after Serral won GSL versus the world, Suddenly everyone was a boy, right? Or at least almost everyone. Some people still thought, like, it's your weekend tournament, it's not the same, you know? Yeah. <laughs> you, you, I remember, you believed in Serral before GSL vs. The World, mm -hmm. but it was after GSL vs. The World where I was like, you know what? I'm beginning to believe. I think we might have a non-Korean world champion. And it did uh, happen. And a lot of things, of course, are very similar when you think of, like, Serral and Rainer, but, yeah, other than... <laughs> Serral had a very strong start to GSL versus the world last year, and Rainer is not having it yet. Mm, not yet. Thunderbird also a map that's uh, pretty damn good in general, right? Yeah, very, very big map. 
hugest rush distance you can possibly get in the ladder pool or in the map pool. Also another great map for run buys and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, there's really only one entrance until you knock down the the mineral patches here. And I wonder if special goes for something similar to what TY did, considering the last two games where he has uh, basically been doing what TY does. Yep. Uh, you know, where he went for that push with Marine Tank over at that, uh, that, that mineral blocker at the third base where Reyna usually will get the third. Now, well, Special does change things up. He hasn't played any bio games just yet. It's just been BC mech after BC mech. Yeah, but I once again, like I think that's the correct choice. Uh, even if he might feel confident with a bio build on this map, just don't do it, man. Like when you play bio against Raynor, you're unleashing something you really don't want to unleash in that kid. He's you're so incredibly good. Like I, I generally believe that if you if you're a massive Raynor fan, right, and you, and you watch all of his games. If somebody really wants to convince me that when it comes to like the first eight to ten minutes of StarCraft 2 in general, that you think Rainer is the best player in the world, I'm not gonna say that that's a fact. But Rainer is incredibly good in almost everything that's normal and standard about early game StarCraft. It's just this one thing that he doesn't like playing against, and that's going up against Mac openings. Like you put him against Bio. It like also when it goes up against like all these crazy Protoss pushes. I think he's so good in dismantling them. ZVZ early on. I mean, he's as good as anyone out there. But yeah, Specials is right now bringing out something that Rainer is not very good against. And yeah, why would you stop it? It would make absolutely no sense to suddenly be right now. You know what? Let's play some Bio. See how it goes. <laughs> Well, he hasn't got the third gas in the natural just yet. Uh, does have the Viking coming out first, so at the moment it doesn't look like Battle Cruiser opening, but uh, the over Overlords, like Rain has been getting Overlord speed every single game here. Yeah. To try and keep tabs on specials builds, but the Viking can still punish. And it's kind of frustrating, right? Because you lose an Overlord and you still don't know what you're up against, uh, what you're going up against. There's a couple extra Hellions on the way. I mean, there is a Tech Lab right next to that. Next to the starport, yeah. Maybe this is going to be some Banshee stuff, we'll see. That's a Roach Warren, a very early one over yeah. here. Quite quick Roach Warren. And the Armory does get plopped here. Is it uh, meta back here? I'm just wondering, just wait and see what happens with the Star Wars. It's kind of gonna really going to tell us what's happening. Maybe some, uh, maybe a Liberator? I mean, he doesn't need a Tech Lab for that, but <laughs> we'll see. We will see what Special decides to do. I mean, we did see a TY bring out like one build with Speed Banshees, right? Yep, yep, that's right. Too often on, if uh, TY. On King's Cove. He's gonna land a factory down right next to it. Yeah. Whoa. Okay. All right. So forget starport units. Yep. Straight, to the, like, straight in the third factory. He's like, all I need is a Viking. Push away a couple of those overlords. Keep my opponent in the dark. And he's getting plus one attack for bio with this as well. Right now. Almost. That must be to fake him out because he's getting a second armory there as well, right? Why is that still the first? That's the still the first armory. Yeah. I mean, I mean, obviously, I think he's almost hoping that the overlord flies in. This is so weird. I mean, what if he makes Marauders with this? Yeah, I mean, that could be right to tag a couple of those queens. We've seen it in the past, but I feel like those builds hit a little bit quicker. I, I, I don't know. I think it's just trying to fake him out. Bamboozle. Yeah. Marines. But I mean, all of the extra factories I mean, have are, been are you revealed now. Are you convinced that the plus one attack on the engineering base is real when you see three factories run it down? <laughs> I don't know uh, what to believe anymore after <laughs> watching this game. I don't know. That's very weird. I mean, like, yes, you, uh, the Marauder thing that you brought up is obviously that's a real thing. There were a couple of very cool builds for Terran players out there where you get like two or three Marauders with concussive shells and medevac, and then you can slow down the Queens, and then the Hellbats can get right on top of the Queens. That's cool stuff, but normally you don't get plus one with that, and no. obviously that was supposed to already hit by now. I think it's just a mistake. I don't know. As he starts, Stim. Okay, mm. well, okay, he's just doing it all. What, <laughs> what, what? This is a hybrid between Bio and Mech here. I haven't seen this in so long. I think here Now he's did building four extra barracks. Yeah. All right. I literally have never seen this before from Out of Special. So this, this is, is something like very, very new. <laughs> or very, very old. But look at Raynor. He's actually getting uh, Evo, like double Evo. He's getting melee and carapace. For a long time, Raynor actually was convinced that he could play against Battle Mech with Ling Bane Muda. And a couple of the Europeans made fun uh, of him. I These roaches. I remember that series. Yeah. Uh, the roach is getting a lot of damage from the Cyclones, and the Hellion's helping out a little bit here. Rainer pulling back to the safety of the creep and the safety of the queens. It'd be massive for Rainer to get one more Overlord into the main base right now, because there is Stim on the way, there is plus one on the way, there are four extra barracks on the way. Infestation bit goes down. I don't think Rainer is really aware of it yet, but he's also getting Baning speed, so we will see. I mean, a couple of extra links. Oh, there's obviously a, it's, this could be so massive, but it doesn't get in there. Mm -hmm. I don't think he knows, Maynard. Speedy, even the speedy overseer, one of the fastest things you could possibly send in the Terran's vein, gets taken down there by those cyclones. It would probably be better to send an infantry to the left bottom side, right? This like is so cool from Special. I'm so excited right now to see how effective this could potentially be. I actually am just sitting here 
Um, I'm with all you guys out there in chat land. I'm just waiting to see what happens. I honestly don't know. I'm the expert. I'm supposed to be the expert, but I honestly just haven't seen this before. Blue Flame on these Hellions with Cyclones and also Upgraded Bio being amassed with Stim on Double Engineering Bay for special. <laughs> It's really, it's like a little bit of everything. The only thing I'm slightly worried about here for special is that, you know, he's down 11 workers. And I don't think he has picked off a single drone yet in this game, if I'm not mistaken. Now, Bureau's being used. A couple of Swarmos are being built. And Swarmos obviously are not going to be great against the bio, but they can still help out a little bit against this, like, medium-sized battle mech army. Two extra barracks is going down as well. I remember back in Valencia, Hero Marine did something, I think it might have been against Serral, where he tried yeah. to go for a mech opening into bio mm -hmm. to try and punish the Swarmos transition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that, yeah, it was Valencia last year, right? Yeah, Valencia last year. Yeah. So I think maybe that's something that Special's going for here. <laughs> it was really funny, because I, I'm not sure if it's that game exactly, but I remember, like, talking about that series and people are like yeah it's really good because you force out the swarmos and then like the bio shows up with steam and it's really good but then worked. the swarmos <laughs> just always killed the terror yeah, it's yeah. like you're forcing out the unit that's killing you yeah. it's like well yeah that's not supposed to happen you know like <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh it was so funny no, i mean it looked less. good on paper right? yeah, yeah. it just didn't look good in uh, in practice They're like no it's really sick you force out all the swarmos i'm like yeah but the swarmos keeps killing him it's like yeah but that's not supposed to happen it's like oh come on <laughs> but yeah it seems indeed like most similar to that in Indeed. So a battle mech opening into a just a just a bio tank transition, but he's also getting drilling claws for yeah. widow mines. I so mean, he like has two factories. The thing is, like, Raynor is about to really find out, right? Like, he's gonna see a battle mech, and now he's gonna see Stim, and he's like, oh my goodness, he's like, you got Stim now. Obviously, Spire is being built. Helmets oh, find these nice. dinosaur network, Good by the catch. way. That's massive. Now, Special obviously wants to get feisty over here. He's maxed out. Where are these foremost? Rainer, like, if he cleans it up once, I actually think that Rainer still has all the opportunity in the world, but it's going to be hard to get a good fight there. He does have the Swarmos on the top side. Yeah, Swarmos have those Locusts. There's a lot of Swarmos, too. Yep. And the, uh, but Marines can obviously gun down the Locusts, right? Quite yeah, quickly. I, th I think that's the whole goal here for these Marines, especially. And they also oh. have 2-1 two one, two one upgrades, so these Marines also do a lot of DPS. There's Widow Mines with Ridden Claws there as well. Like you mentioned before, I don't see that many Overseers here. This is going to be really cool, Maynard. Can Rainer do it? He's going to be very careful. This is hard to engage into. Oh, he, he actually doesn't even get one tank with that Locust Wave. That was every single Locust from his yeah. Swarm Host Rotterdam. But I think it's smart that he just gives up this base. Rainer's maxed out. He's got money in the bank, like fighting up this ramp here against all the Raider Mines, all the tanks that are set up. I think it's the right choice. But now he's still thinking about it. I feel like if you lost the base already, there's no point in doing this anymore. Uh, I think the longer he waits, the worse it's going to get here for Rainer. Yeah. He's trying to get some more Banelings, which definitely will help him out with that bio count. But there is still a nasty tank count and Widow Mines here if Special needs to pull all the way back. Well, Special just lost a bunch of Marines, though. I mean, I really don't see any use in taking a bad fight there. Like, all of the tanks are siege up, the Widow Mines are in place, like, that base is gone. Rain has got plenty of bases to begin with. There is simply oh, this no is very need. nice. There is some fire here, but there is a lot of broodlings, so they'll rather the Locusts, so they cut through that fire very, very easily. They turn their attention onto that planetary. Oh, oh the Banelink connection is actually quite nice here from Reyna, getting a lot of the Marines. The Rogers and Ravages also cutting through a little bit of that battle mech army. The tank count's still quite scary, and on that high ground as well. Ooh. Yeah. Very close to losing that planetary. Yeah, it keeps the life. I don't know, man. I'm not really feeling it for special. Like, yeah, he got a base, but now I look at the bank of Raynor. I look at everything that Raynor has. He's up 10 workers. He's getting a great Aspire. Like, he lost a base. Okay, but he's still a four base Zerg. Mm. Uh, even though this four base is not totally up. Oh, well, that's the fifth, I actually. Could, I could really see the strategy working, but it seems like, uh, you know, Raynor's, uh, well, I guess his playstyle against Mac just sort of kind of does the job as well. He as played different this game though. Like in, in Juanito's defense, this was a different Raynor. Because there was this double Evo, there was melee carapace. Like he didn't get melee and carapace in the other games. Whoa, oh, that's a lot of tanks, tanks going down. Nice. Like if you, you know, to be fair, right? In the other games, it was mostly just like, I don't know, uh, evolution chambers at all. Quick infestate, quick infestors, quick spire, that kind of stuff, corruptor. Like this game, it was actually a bit different. Especially getting a couple of those banelings before they finish morphing here. Actually, most of those banelings before they finish morphing uh, them. Not that many medevacs and not that much energy on those two medevacs either. And look at all those marines. And obviously the tanks are getting close, but that great aspire is almost done. And I feel like the special is not close enough to applying enough pressure. The no. only thing that can kind of work out for special is that the swarmos still take up a lot of supply, right? But they, they can obviously do. be useful. One tank goes down. Oh, the Bane is getting very close oh, to the pile no. here. And also oh, the, no. the Locust on the left-hand side. Special's bio army caught between a Zerg and a hard place. Just to pick up and pull back to the safety of those tanks. You know, that uh, actually sort of worked out in the end for Special, even though it looked super dire and nasty. But the greatest fire is done, Maynard. Yep. Rootlords are about to show up. And what does Special have that's he good against Rootlords? One Viking. 
Oh, that's it. <laughs> yeah, that's you it. answered my question, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if the Marines get under the Brood Lords, of course, they can take them out, but a player as good as Reyna will very rarely offer that opportunity to the Terran. Ooh, oh, actually, yeah, all right. right. The Widowmine's getting a little bit of free damage there on their Swarm Host, killing a couple of them, but the Bio's going to come in here and finish them off. Reyna needs to react quick if he wants to save these. Yeah, that's a bit sloppy, but I think it's kind of, you know, the time of the Swarm Host has kind of gone anyway. Yeah, I, right? I agree, I agree. Yeah. They really don't it, was a lot of it was a lot of supply, he was close to maxed. You would rather have, you know, some more Broodlords, more Roaches and Ling Bane here. Adreno's a little bit late, because, you know, the Greatest Fighter is already done. So I think Adreno could have been done as well. But once again, man, these are the kind of games, like, Reino's like, ah, oh, like StarCraft, I've missed you. <laughs> these, this is the game that Reino loves. And even the Juanito's still definitely making some stuff happen, and he's applying some pressure. I don't know if it's going to be enough. Yeah, this is looking better and better for Reyna here. He is starting to really hold the reins here in this game. Some Widowmine harassment with Drilling Claws and to get a few drones. It's always nice. Killed 12, actually. Oh, a little bit of his damage from the bio as well. Yeah, I think the Liberator got a couple kills. It's still a couple drones going down somewhere. Uh, one matter of fact, Rob. Why is there a Banshee on the production tab, Maynard? I don't know. Uh, that actually doesn't really help him against much at all. Uh, maybe he wants it for harassment. I don't know. Yeah, like, it just doesn't make sense in a fight against these units of, uh, of Reyna. This has been a crazy game. Now, six Infestors on the way as well. Adreno almost finishing up, plus three. Um, I mean, we don't have Ultra this time. We've got to be careful with these links. Still, kind of, Thunderbird is kind of a hard map, right, to go for a lot of run buys. Four Liberators on the way, Advanced Ballistics on the way as well. All right, I felt like Special was in a very tough spot. Now it's starting to look a little bit better. He has a lot of tanks here, but the Lings are going to try to collapse on top of all of these tanks. And it looks like he's getting most of them as well. The Bio got pushed way back there, leaving an opening. Oh, some nice Widowmine harassment. Another dozen and a bit drones going down. And a nice Ling run by here by Reyna. Also doing some income damage, but not nearly as enough just yet. The Brood Lord's coming in for the north side. Special has no answer to these Brood Lords at all. He has to leave. I'm actually surprised with how passive Reyna has been with his Brood Lords, right? Like, maybe he's been a bit confused about this game and didn't know exactly the position that he was in. So he's like, all right, I don't want to get too feisty with my Brood Lords and see them, like, just go down on the other side of the map because I can't protect them. But he kind of gave a lot of time to Special. Now, slowly but steady, this game is actually starting to look better and better for the Terran. While a while ago, it really felt that Special didn't have much to work with. These two mines will grab a few more drone kills. Rainer is no longer in that solid 80 count of drones. No, certainly not. This is starting to get better and better. The 3 3 is about to be done on the bio here. The tanks already have plus 3 attack. They hit very, very hard. Special and starting Ghost Academy production here so we can get up towards, you know, potentially snipes, nukes, that sort of thing. And Liberator production going to be definitely a focus here as Advanced Ballistics is about to finish up. I think that's a key upgrade, right? Like, I, I always feel like whenever the Terran is maxed out and has Advanced Ballistics, there is absolutely a chance. I mean, I know Reyna's kind of broke, but I'm sure that he'd love like a couple of Ultras if that was a possibility. Liberators are so scary, one Infestor does go down, Fungal does connect though. I mean, Special's gonna lose a lot of units here. He certainly is, Fungal's getting on the Bio and on the Blackings as well, Infested Terran's also joining in the mix. Not much energy on these Infestors at all, and the Broodlords are getting in range of the Bio. The Marines and even that Viking I was talking about before coming into that fight and wow. actually helping out quite a bit for Special. He's killed the Broodlords, Roddy. He's getting the Infestors as well. Wow. Special's actually just collapsing on his arm and he's getting almost everything. Reyna oh my was God. busy counterattacking, did not have an answer, did not really have any anti-air at all to deal with those Liberators. And like I said, as long as there's Liberators, there's always a lot of hope. And yeah, that was not just a good fight for Special. That was an absolutely fantastic fight. That was incredible. The Lings are coming in for Reyna to try and help out with his bio, but it feels like the damage might already be done. Special up, a good chunk of army supply here. The Bainley's coming in and connecting to the north side, but the rest of the army of Special joining in. Looks like he's rallying across the map here. Pulls back to the tanks, back to the liberation zones. The Vikings also ruling the skies. These brute lords of Rainer are just not safe. They don't have corrupted coverage. They don't have Hydra. There's nothing to stop these Vikings from picking off those brute lords. I mean, Rainer just doesn't have much at all anymore, right? I mean, he's going to burrow a couple <laughs> of these ravages there. They're going to have to be run away. He's I mean, he's trying to, yep, trying to rebuild some links, but that's just not going to be enough anymore. The Liberator is simply just a little too much to deal with. And it felt that Rainer had this game in the bag at one point, or at least it felt like he really was starting to take control of it. He had attack advantage, but he gave time to Special, and Special truly capitalized on it. Special says in game three, who is the victim now as he is on the precipice of a 3-0 wow. against the Italian Stallion that's been dominating WCS, knocking him out of these tournaments one after another. Special though, he's going to be the one to knock Reyna out of GSL versus the world as he starts to march on through with that death push. Reyna holding on, but just with Drex here, he has nothing convincing to stop this Terran attack. GG! Wow. Special with a 3-0 victory. 
Last five times it was all Rainer. This time it was all special. And he did it in such a damn cool way as well, right? He had the Mac Bells, he had the Mac Bells. And in that final game, he gave us a little bit of bio in the end. He may have opened up with some good old Battle Mac, but he just went for that full on bio switch. We saw 